What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Antonio. Today, I am doing a full inspection for one of my friends on her Toyota Camry. Um, basically, she had a vehicle. The vehicle didn't run right. Couldn't get it right. Uh, so, she got another one. So, I'm going to show you how I do an inspection, a full inspection on uh, a car. Because um, a lot of people do inspections on cars, and they just, they just do, like check you know, little stuff here and there and try to check the major major parts but I, I check from everything from the lights to the seat belts to the seats to everything I can check to make sure everything is safe and it's reliable to be on the road alright so stay tuned okay so first thing I do I open the door I check the doorknob make sure everything's good look at all the door frame check everything check the Make sure everything good. Make sure it locks and unlocks. All right. Look at doors. All right. Before I even get in the car, I check the doors. Make sure everything is good. You know, and while you're in the back, go ahead and buckle the seat belt. Make sure the seats buckle. Okay. Seats are good. All right. Go to the next one. Check the gas. Make sure everything's good. Trunk. Nothing falling off of it. You know. All right. Then you open this door. Same thing. Buckle the seat belt. All right. Go to this side. Open the door. Shut it. Thing good. Check the door seal. Make sure everything good. Glove box good. All right. Seats were operate well. Don't worry, I'm gonna go to the other side and do the same thing. Just don't have much time in these videos. It'll be take a whole three hours, four hours to show you. Check the doors, look at the seals, right? Now, walk over to the front of the car, pop the hood. This is very difficult to do with one hand. That's how you mechanics online do it. Okay, oh good. All right, maybe check the hood strut. Is that good? All right, look at the engine. Try your best to see, you know, look for little stuff. You know, just check the fluids. I already checked the fluids, everything's fine. I put uh, fluids in, the air filter's good. Check the air filter, you know, do a diet, do a battery, check the battery, make sure it's 12 volts. Make sure you ain't got no kind of drag anywhere. Check the brake fluid. You can see it's a little low, cause you need brakes. I already diet that. All right, so go back inside the car, get in, then you sit down, and then you turn, turn the, this is a push button, so you match the button, you don't have to turn the car completely on, just match it twice for the, um, the, the, uh, auxiliary, so make sure all the lights work, so you go, turn signal, good, turn signal, that's good, uh, brights, you can see brights work well all right okay make sure the fall lights work so just turn this so you can see them see that yep fall lights work okay and you can see the tpms light is flashing all right that means one of the sensors is bad i'll check in the lights not on it's key it's k-e let's see k-o-e-o -E -O. mean key um key on engine off Right. Or if you want, it's K O E R, key on engine running. So, and that's what we're about to do. And turn it fully on. All right. Listen for any lifter knock, I mean, any uh, valve rattle, knocking, anything. All right. Check see if the radio works properly. Check, check all the speakers. It works well. Check the AC, the heat. You know, oh, auto it works well. See, everything functioning right, right? It's off. All right, now you check the transmission. You want to make sure everything flows well. I already took it on a test drive. I know I should have videotaped that, but basically, when you go on a test drive, you want to make sure that everything's operating right. You turn it side to side and listen for the go lock to lock to listen for the um, power steering. 
Alright, a dip. Alright, horn. Horn works well. And hey, we got a visor. But I can see this visor is messed up, so she's gonna need a visor. Need a sun visor. Make sure that the root, the, uh, the, um, I can't see. Whoa. Make sure that the sunroof operates well. Alright. Alright. And I, I tend to grease the sunroof, like put a little lube on it to make sure it slides properly. Check all the windows. Make sure the window switch works. Okay, then we'll go check this one. Let's check the bag. All right, so we need to turn the vehicle off. Make sure everything's straight. Get out the car. So I should have did this in the beginning. You just walk around the vehicle, make sure there's no scratches, no dents. You know that 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 you know could be a possible problem. It's just like you trying to help somebody sell a car. You just want to walk around and make sure everything is copacetic, make sure everything's straight, and uh, and you just make sure you walk around, you make sure everything's right, straight. You know, you lift the car up, take the tires off to check the brakes. Always take the tires. Let me get it good. Man, I'm trying to get out the light. There we go. Take the tires off to check the brakes. Make sure everything, all the brakes are good. I did drive the car. Um, got to, went to a stop in the car. Front end started shuddering, so it needs rotors. Um, so I'm gonna recommend passing rotors for the front. Um, so that's one thing. Uh, the rear, I gotta check again because uh, the people she went to first said she need rear brakes. They said, think about. It, I'm not. I'm not knocking dealerships. I'm not knocking no other shops I'm just saying that when you come to an independent person you are their only you're basically their only customer I don't take a lot of customers I only take I will take one a day or two a day because I want to be able to focus on that one customer and getting them out and I don't care if it's making 50 to some days I may make 50 some days I may make three four hundred dollars you know that's that's the name of the game I just gotta learn how to save my money but it's not it's about helping people out and doing it the right way so when they when they call leave your bay you know you did everything you can do you can do to get them safe on the road all right so it's your boy tonio for another video i'm gonna keep coming with it as much as i can now that i'm a, a business owner and i'm out here on the streets i'm out here you know scary as a mug i'm out here so um if you like so share it, subscribe, you know, tell everybody about it, and we're going to keep making these car videos. All right, take care. Peace.